Who's calling? Who's, who's out there? That's, that's Muhammad. Oh, we know Muhammad. He's the truthful guy. He's the one that's honest. He's the one we, you know, we trust this guy. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. What's going on? What's going on? He's calling him. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're here. What is it? He said, what have I told you? On the other side of this hill, right behind me, there's an army coming. They said, we would believe you. Get your swords, guys. He said, no, wait a minute. But you believe? Oh, we believe you. We believe anything you say. You are the Sadiq. You're the telling the truth. We're with you. Go ahead. What is it? What's the news? He said, La ilaha illallah. There's only one God worthy to be worshipped. Allah. La sharika Allah, which means, and he has no partners. Wa ana rasulahi. And I'm his messenger to you. They went, what? What are you, what are you talking about? And one of his own uncles, Abu Lahab, he got so mad. He got so angry. Huh? And he used to get red. He did. He got real red about things, you know? And that's why they called him Lahab, because he was red like a fire. Cursed! Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Even it's his own nephew. He cursed him. He said, you called us out for this. Ah! He got really upset. He went mad. And his wife, she was with him. In fact, they made life miserable for Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. They did many things after that against him. So many things. Mm. But that's okay. Wait till you find out what Allah did to them. But for right now, what I want to talk about is that the Muslims, the early Muslims, they began trying to call the people and explain Islam is to do what Allah wants you to do on His terms. Be at peace with Allah. Salam. Do what He wants you to do. Taslim. Just surrender. Just give in to Allah. Do His way. Don't do your way. Don't be mean. Don't be bad. Don't lie. Don't steal. Tell the truth. Be generous. Help other people. These are the messages that come with all the prophets. But don't do it to show for the people. In fact, keep it to yourself. And this is what Allah likes. Do it. Now, there's something else nice about this. If ever you want to know what Allah really said, you can just go and look in the Quran and you'll know what He said. You don't have to guess. And this has been preserved by Allah in the hearts and in the minds of the Muslims for 1,400 and more years. Can you believe this? And when people heard it, they repeated it and passed it to the next generation. Just like you're learning it right now from some teachers, yes? And didn't they learn it from some teachers? And they learned it from teachers. They started with teachers who heard it, from teachers who heard it, from teachers who heard it, all the way back to the people that heard it from Prophet Muhammad wasallam, and he heard it from Jibril salam, and he got it from Allah. So that's why we say it's the actual kalamatullah, the actual speech of Allah, the Quran. Now, if you have it in your hand, what is it called? If you have a book in your hand, it's called Mus'haf. It's not called Quran, it's called Mus'haf. We say Quran all the time, but actually it's Mus'haf. And it's from the word Suhuf. And Suhuf means scripture. And that's what people before had. So when you have it written down, this is like scripture. But when you have it memorized and you recite it, it's called Quran. Quran. That's when it's Quran. It's Quran when it's memorized and recited. It's Mus'haf when it's written down. Got me? Yeah. Make sense? Yes. I knew you'd figure it out. You're a smart guy. Now, here comes the Quran to Muhammad. Peace be upon him. He's teaching his friends. And some of them are accepting Islam right away. And some are going out and getting other people to accept right away. Some are taking their time thinking about it and then looking around and going, yeah, this makes sense. And they're coming into Islam. But a lot of them are getting upset and saying, why are you going in this religion of Muhammad? Stay away from that thing. 
Get out of this. Get, stop it. Come and worship these gods with us. We got a nice God over here. You don't like this God? We got a bigger one over there. You don't like a big God? We got a tiny God. What kind of God do you want? We got it. Stop worshiping the one God. Huh? That sounds strange, doesn't it? But that's what they did. Because they knew something else. They knew that along with it, they'd have to give up a lot of the bad things they did. Because people have a sense inside of them that tells them when something's really right and when something's really wrong. And if they want the wrong way, they will not like to be guided to the right way. And if they like the right way, they won't like to be misguided to the wrong way. They won't. And a person who really, really wants to be good, it's hard to make them do something bad. But a person who wants to be bad, it's hard to make them do something good. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Yeah. And remember what these people used to do? They used to drink alcohol. And they got a feeling, you know, it won't be long. He's going to be telling us no drinking. Yeah, we're not going to listen to that. And another thing that they did that was really bad, really bad, they used to kill the innocent little baby girls. Remember that? Yeah. In fact, that was one of the first things that came. When the orders really started coming from Allah saying, don't do this, don't do that, when those kind of orders came, that is when the people really started getting uptight. And one of the orders is, you can't kill these innocent baby girls anymore. Now, Omar, who was one of the earlier Muslims that came later on, he did that. His own wife gave birth to a girl. And he was distraught. When he found out, he was so, so upset about this. His wife had actually hidden it from him for a while. But when he found out that the little girl going around here was his and not somebody else's, because he they told him, oh, it's so-and-so's little girl. So, no. But when he found out it's his little girl, his wife was sure. Oh, he wouldn't do that now because she's a cute little thing. She comes around, holds his finger, stuff like this. And they said, that's your girl. He said, what? It's your girl. Aren't you happy?